Okay, just so I don't leave the crazy people out, here are a few exercises you can do with a watermelon that are very, very, very challenging to do. So I would definitely recommend not doing these uh, unless you are absolutely positively sure of yourself. So uh, first one here is going to be the, uh, the watermelon burpee to clean and press. All right, so we're going to come down, a little push up, we'll touch the watermelon with our chest, try not to crush it. Get back in, and press, back down, push, and press, back down, touch, and press. Try to keep the back nice and straight as you're going. And of course, you can leave out the burpee, just hit clean and presses, or just even a squat press. That'll get you fired up pretty fast. If that's not enough, you could always do a squat jump in there as well. So you're doing a, a jump with the watermelon there. Woo! All right, wind a little bit, but I will show you the next one nevertheless. Uh, overhead squat, really, really hard. My shoulder flexibility isn't what it should be. So my overhead squat won't look as great as it could, but trying to keep the arms straight. Reaching back, pressing back, and getting a squat right in here. Keeping the watermelon up there. Trying to keep the arms straight and reaching back. Weight on the heels. You wanna make sure the knees don't drift forward too much on this one. So, watermelon uh, overhead squat there. Uh, another one you can do is the, uh, an oblique exercise. We call it an oblique crunch, but it's like a standing oblique. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna press overhead here, get nice, long, and extended, and you're gonna tip to the side, and squeeze back with the oblique muscles. Your oblique muscles are right on the side here. So as you tip to the side, you're gonna flex them to bring yourself back. Make sure you're really careful so that you're not using your lower back muscles to bring yourself back, that you're using your obliques. You can go as far as your flexibility will allow, but don't go so far that you start to bend in your lower back too much. So it's upper bend and squeeze back over. Right in there. All right, there's one more, but I gotta check my cheat sheet for that one. Oh yeah. This one maybe not be quite as hard, but if you do enough reps of it, it'll get up there. So that is the chest press here. So watermelon chest press. So what we'll do is we'll do 20. Six, seven, eight. Pretty quick here. Then we're going to hold the bottom for 10 seconds. And then 20 more. 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 15, 19, 20. I'll hold the bottom again. And then you go another 20, hold them on again, go another 20, get about four sets of that. That should burn out the shoulders, back the arms a little bit, get things fired up pretty good. So those are just a handful of exercises you could do that are really, really hard to do and that you should be really, really careful of because especially when you're adding that kind of speed and intensity into it, the risk for injury goes up. So a few exercises on how to take your watermelon training to the max. So this is Jeremy Birnett and have fun, be safe.